Hi, my name is Ryan Flynn. This is a studio hangout in honor of Tim Grobart. Little fighter just had a heart transplant last night. Today is June 20th, 2012. Uh, this is a Google Plus Hangout, and I'm doing it via my new project, Studio Hangouts, where I invite artists from around the world to host hangouts while they're working, invite others to share in their passions and talk and discuss art, and bid and hopefully lead to the sales of more art and appreciation around the world. So I'm starting a uh, painting that I will auction off for charity for Tim Grobart's fund to help uh, him recover and have a normal healthy life. And uh, so I'll just get a little ready while people maybe or maybe not pop in and I'll finish my dinner. Kind of unprofessional. But, uh, that's how I'm rolling. Enjoy. I'm just sending out this link to people on Facebook and Twitter so um, other people can join in. Still figuring out the best processes to do these sorts of things. Join me live on Google Plus.
setting up my paints and things.
Are you John the Heart? Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Long time no see. Good to see you again. How you been? I've been doing good. Been doing good. And how about you? Excellent. Are you John the Heart? I am. You can tell. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. Hey, guys. Hey, how's it going? How are you? Ron, pretty yeah. good. Long time no see. Good to see you again. See you again. How you been? Sorry, hold on. I think I. <laughs> that was funny. I, uh, I was trying to stream this uh, on air hangout through my website, studiohangouts.com, so I had that on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a delay. <laughs> Just get out of the shower? Mm-hmm. Yep. That's why I have my little turban thing going on. Taking over the Arab look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've been hanging out with uh, all the uh, Middle Eastern guys on, in the hangouts, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's more <laughs> like them hanging out with me. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been up to, Ron? Oh well, I've been working on my web, my new website a little bit, and uh, so, you know, I got to make some refinements. But doing websites is kind of taxing on the brain, so I take a lot of breaks. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a uh, lower third banner you got there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty slick. Yeah, I'm getting back into my CSS and my PHP, and so I'm picking it up. Uh, it's like like riding a bicycle, a little rusty, but once you get pedaling again, it 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 goes pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, oil pass sales. This is just charcoal right now. I'm kind of sketching oh. it out. Yeah. I have a friend whose six-year-old son had a heart transplant last night. Mm -hmm. And so I am uh, trying to start some kind of charity art auction. I'm just yeah. uh, putting together for it. Yeah. That's pretty are you, cool. Are you going to paint over it in oils or acrylic? I just have acrylics right now. I'm trying yeah. to trying to go through them all, and then then maybe I'll invest in some oil. Yeah. I've been an artist a long time, but I never quite could quite afford the expensive canvas and all that. I, I was always uh, stuck with a sketch pad or eight and a half, eleven, eight and a half by eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's spendy if you really want to go there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can stretch your own canvases, but that's a whole new, uh, you know, a whole new ball of wax. Yeah. Spend just as much time doing that as painting. Mm -hmm. Don't they uh, put gesso on it uh, after they stretch it and stuff like that? And yeah, the ones I buy have they're pretty much sealed. Uh, but yeah. yeah, if you're uh, doing your own, you should do that. Yeah. What's going on with you, Diana? Oh, I've just kind of been floating around, hanging. Summer, you have the summer off, right? Yes, sir. Sure do. That's nice. Yeah, there's uh, no control Z in uh, analog art. On the in analog art, and I know. Yeah, no control Z. Yeah. I spend my <laughs> entire days on the computer and. This is the only way I could think of to to keep me away of away from away from it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kind of ironic. Yeah. Well, the computer can be a tool. It's a general device. It's and the software makes it what you want it to be. Yeah, but there's nothing quite like 
doing it by hand. Yeah. At least every once in a while. It'll, it'll just, it just, it'll, uh, the computer just complements, you know, the analog world in a lot of ways. Let us. She lost her, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I remember when I was a sign painter, uh, you know, it's a few times I've been asked to put, you know, uh, text on a path or on a circle. And it can be done, but there's a lot of geometry with it. But yeah. with a computer, I can just make a circle and have another thing that says text on path, and I can move it around the circle just like I want. Oh, uh, yeah, there's no doubt. Op optical better spacing. Better for something like that. Yeah. Now, I've done it the old way. You have to... You have to uh, Readily divide the circle and just kind of eyeball your uh, spacing on your on your letters, and it can be done. Yeah. Yeah. All those principles are based in math anyway. It's just it's just hidden from your view, you know, on the computer. <clears throat> I had to rush home tonight. Yeah. Finishing up dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wall paints still take a long time to dry. What's What's the cure time now? Four weeks? Uh, I, haven't, I haven't touched any since high school. I don't even know what they do now. I remember I used to do the paint by numbers, and those were eight weeks to fully cure. Really? Yeah. I've done wow. several. I had, as a matter of fact, the guy who invented that died, but I'd done a couple of those with paint by numbers. Yeah. And it was good quality paint, but it took two months for it to fully cure. Yeah, you need a bigger house than you can afford in New York before you can start stacking those everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. you got to have an attic or something. Or, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think somebody told me that they'd refined the uh, oil paints, and they may dry in like four to six weeks. I don't know. Yeah, th there's additives I think you can mix in while you're painting to speed it up. Mm-hmm. But they hold their color for years, you know, they're very color fast. Yeah. Uh, where should I start? Acrylic's pretty color fast, though, too, also. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just plastic, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. I still have a set of watercolor pencils. I always like those for the more traditional media. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, it's, you don't have to wait on that a lot. Just get the paper dry. <laughs> yeah.
Well, I'll see you later. I'm going to get off here a while and watch a little bit of uh, Through the Wormhole. <laughs> no problem. All right. Have a good day. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah. So, hey.
anybody's watching via YouTube, you should come on Google and join me. It's a lot more fun. Usually it's a bit more lively in here when I make these hangouts public, but it's pretty rowdy and you get some weird people and it's hard to control sometimes. So I thought tonight I would just stream it through the website and Facebook and Google Plus and see if I could get anybody interesting to show up. Uh, but we'll see. Just enjoying the solitude. In a big batch of purple that is too dark. I don't want this to be a dark painting, as it's for a happy occasion. But I had kind of a vision in my head all day, and so I, I saw it with some thick, dark outlines. Thought of it with some definite shapes.
And I made way too much purple. Not, I'm not a professional artist. I wish I was, but the way I work lately or always is I squeeze out a color and then use it up before I squeeze out another color just to use my paints. I have so much paint, but I don't really, I don't know if I love acrylic paint. I'd love to do some oil work, but I can't really justify it when I have all this acrylic paint. So I just blob this out, throw it on, make a big mess. Some on the bottom. I like to leave the edges all white. Kind of bothers me. Fortunately, that's going to take a while to dry. Shouldn't pour acrylic water down the sink because it's all plastic. If it dries out, it'll clog it all up. So I save my extra wastewater and throw it away. My green tip for the day.
I wish I could play some music or something, but I'm not allowed to when I'm streaming this over the air, over YouTube. In the terms of service. So I've got my headphones on until somebody else comes in.
I'm typing in the chat on the side. In honor of Tim, had a heart transplant last night. At the age of six. Tougher than I'll ever be. I just got two new donations out of nowhere for pieces of art for this charity auction. That's pretty awesome. Just now.
I think this needs some blue, huh? Anybody else? More fun if you join me, guys, really. Just look up Brian Flynn on Google Plus.
Not sure that's exactly what I wanted to do, but <laughs> happy accident, huh? Blue heart. Turn this there. If I do this well enough, some rich doctor will buy it. And we can give lots of money to Tim to help him get better, right? Maybe I need to invite more people again.
Apparently people can see me. But they can't join. I don't know what that means. Noodle. 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 <laughs> if anybody's watching, this is Noodle. We're dog sitting. <laughs> His tongue never goes in. It's built like that. <laughs> Noodle. Rawr. He's a funny guy. <laughs> Noodle is not amused.
says I didn't want this to be a dark painting. It's about the joy the new life that a new heart can bring. I'm sure the whole Grobart family today is eating food like they've never tasted it before. What's up, Noodle? What's up, dude? Oh, hello. Hello. Got it. Finally figured it out. It was stuck. I had to reboot my whole computer. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I came about it in the wrong way, but then I just started over, and then it was clear. Oh. Well, nice. Uh... Where's every? Clear. Where? Uh, I didn't invite the public tonight, so it's a little quiet. Uh huh. But last time you were there, I invited the whole world, so. Wow. You get the you get a lot of different people. <laughs> well, I I know the first time I did it, it was real easy, and I got on Facebook and joined. I think first thing I just I just clicked on watch it and then the second time I did it I clicked on join. That did it. Tonight, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I'm doing it a bit different tonight. This is a uh, what they call a hangout on air, and that means it is being recorded and streamed live via YouTube. Yeah. So. I have nice work. Hello there. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> really nice. So I have this stream feeding to my website, studiohangouts.com. So if you went to that website, you could just watch the, the, the live stream on there. Mm-hmm. Anybody else on? No, not tonight. There was a few. There was a couple people earlier. Uh, 
not sure why more people aren't joining in, but not every Wednesday night you do a complete work. I mean, I try to. I've taken mm -hmm. the last few weeks off because I've had uh, a few things to do. Right. So That's this is my first time back after a little bit. Sure. That's so, nice. so who is this kid with the heart? Yeah, a co-worker of mine at Child Graphics. It's his son. Mm -hmm. Wow. And he's uh, he was born with a heart heart defects of the. Uh, not entirely sure, but the way I understand it is the bottom half of his heart. Mm -hmm. Beats backwards. Mm -hmm. Oh boy! And so it's never really been as efficient as it could. And he's had six surgeries already before the the heart transplant finally last that happened last night. Wow! How's he doing? All good so far. Good. He had it done in Chicago. He's been on. Uh, he got moved to. Like 1A status of oh, maybe almost two weeks ago, so they've been waiting on pins and needles for a for heart to become available for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Um, Dave had his surgery today. Right. How did that go? Well, I don't know. It was supposed to take about five hours, and the last we know, it, he was still in there. After like seven hours, oh, wow. so I we don't know. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to get in the way. I'll just watch or. <laughs> no, that's fine. I I can work. Okay. Just know there might be other. There could be other people watching in via mm -hmm. YouTube or my website. <laughs> uh huh. So I would be on those. Yeah. Hmm. So the the hangouts are still limited to ten people at a time. Mm hmm So including me, there could be ten people in the in this video chat. But mm -hmm. uh, if you if you do this on air thing, it gets broadcast on YouTube. Um, on my my stream on Google Plus and I I embedded it on my website so uh, I I'd, I'd be surprised if many other people were watching but it's possible mm -hmm. it's being streamed to these other locations. Uh huh. So and they so they'd be other watching people, other people watching that aren't in the room obviously. So they they'd be watching it right now. It's not something they'd watch. On a recording later? That too. It'll be recorded on YouTube. Okay, so both. If I, yeah, if I decide that I want it to still exist, then, uh, then yeah, mm -hmm. people can watch it later. <laughs> okay. Good job. Kind of fun. Yeah. Where are you? In your back room? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what I you got the hotel booked already? Yeah. In our neighborhood? Yeah, we're excited. Yeah, that'll be great. You'll love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks beautiful. Looks just like your place. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, so I'm kind of waiting for this to dry. Mm -hmm. I wanted it to be a, a bright, fun piece and not dark and gory. It started out kind of dark and gory. So I'm trying yeah. to brighten it up. Because <laughs> I, I saw it. I mean, I've been watching for maybe 15 minutes to try and to get on here. So I, I saw it for a little while. It's It was more bright red. That's when I saw it. Yeah. I'm waiting for it to dry. 
a little bit so it doesn't get all muddled up. Mm -hmm. And I haven't painted in acrylics in so long. This will inspire me. Mm -hmm. How was the drive home the other day? It was fine. It was like eight, a um, little over eight hours, I think. It was easy. We went through a big downpour of rain, um, not for very long, but it was just pouring, you know, kind of um, flooding the, the side of the highway. Really? And there was like a barrier uh, construction going on, so there was a cement barrier in the middle, and and water was pooling up, so you'd like splash it over the side, and when a truck on the other side would come by, this big wave of water would hit the car. Wow. <laughs> kind of strange, but it didn't last too long. Yeah, we narrowly avoided a big semi-accident. Well, I mean, it wasn't close, but we would... We got off to use the restroom, and then when we tried to get back on, the ramp was closed down because an accident had happened right there. Mm. Uh, so we had to find a, an alternate route to get back to the highway. Jeez. Drive through through the whole town, but there was a yeah, it was a massive crash. It was really yeah. Oh, that's scary. Gotta thank God you missed that one. Yeah. It was smooth beyond that though. We were mm -hmm. home by five thirty. Wow. How long did it take? Uh it's probably seven hours, seven seven and a half I I bet. Mm-hmm. Can you see Raleigh back there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to meet Noodle? <laughs> did, you see, did you see Noodle? I've seen the pictures. Gary. Come here. <laughs> oh wow great oh my gosh he's the best he or she the boy oh it's super a tongue oh my god it just never goes in good temperament good guy yeah, he's all right. He doesn't like. I think he misses his mom. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's his super. Tongue get all dry. I mean, I don't oh know. my yeah. god. He goes for a walk and smells everything. It gets all dirty. <laughs> <laughs> he's nice. He's relaxed. Sure. Not all jumpy and. Oh, he can't. He can't walk barely to the end of the block and back before he's exhausted. Yeah. Mm. How old is he? Uh, I don't know. He's just really big. Jeez. Big for a pug. <laughs> oh, God, that's great. A tongue, that's wild. Oh, cool. Yeah, Raleigh. Raleigh wants to see him. Buddy. There's Raleigh back there. Buddy, look. See that dog? See that dog? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Raleigh. Hey, Raleigh. Hey, Raleigh. Look at the dog. Dogs can oh. talk to each other. <laughs> oh. Who is that? Oh. Uh, Raleigh. <laughs> That's not going anywhere. No. <laughs> Raleigh had a walk tonight, and he's helping us trim the rose bushes, and he's tired. Yeah. 
Yeah, it would be fun to have a dog. Uh, it is uh, a little annoying going up and down those stairs every day. Oh, I can't imagine. <laughs> more than well, more than once or twice a day. Yeah. Oh. Well, I might, I might leave a little bit and come back. Yeah, no problem. And check in and see if I can do it again, so I get in practice. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Yep, we're all dialed in for our trip. We've got the plane reservations and the hotel reservations and Excellent. And we'll see you on the seventh too, hopefully. Uh write write down this for a second. Okay. Um I, I was trying to remember what magazine this was in that I saw. But if you Google Literary Tour of Brooklyn. Okay. Um, I think it was either New York Magazine or, uh, I don't know, some, some New York Magazine. I think it was New York or some Brooklyn Magazine, but uh, just type in literary map of New York or of, of Brooklyn. They had mm -hmm. one of the issues. We had recently had a cool map of all the authors who've lived nearby and written, written books about this neighborhood and, and just Brooklyn in general. Cool. So I thought you might be interested. Mm hmm. Okay. Some walking tours of the neighborhood when you're here and see uh, these settings for famous books. Yeah. I will do that. All right. Well, I'll. I'll check back in a little bit. Take care, Rye. Say hi to Kaylin. Well, see, see you later. Okay. And the dog. What's the dog's name? Noodle. Noodle. Say hi to Noodle. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, now the thing is I'm not sure how to get off. <laughs> okay, exit. See ya. Hey, Monica. Hello. 
How are you? I'm good. How are you? Wonderful. Good to see you again. Yes, yeah, good to see you. What you working on? Uh, painting for a friend of mine's son. Oh, that's cool. Is that a heart? Uh, yeah. Uh, my friend's son just had a heart tra heart transplant last night. Oh my gosh, my friend's son actually has been hospitalized in the PICU because uh, he's had multiple heart surgeries. He's yeah. four. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, it's been a rough journey for them, but it's really mm -hmm. kind of meaningful that we, you know, are in the same hangout and you're painting the heart. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, this little trooper, he's, uh, he's six, and he, he's already had about the same amount of what? Heart, heart, sur heart surgeries over his, over his uh, life, and they finally got... He finally got the transplant order in, and he's been on the waiting list for the last few months and got bumped up to the first in the line, and it just happened yesterday. Oh, well, good. Yeah, so he's, he's doing well so far, but I'm looking at uh, doing an online art charity uh, fundraiser for him. Okay, and his situation is stable? Yeah, it's looking good right now. Oh, good. That's good to hear. How are you feeling? I'm doing well. I'm I'm real stable and, you know, hanging in there. I'm definitely improving. Wonderful. Obviously, I don't don't know uh, much about you, but good to hear you're doing well. <laughs> yeah, I've I've got systemic lupus and. Uh, you know, I go through good periods, bad periods, but I'm in a stable period right now. Yeah. I read a, a news article about Daniel Ibanez. I think it was oh. in Colorado. And did it reference you in that? Yep, I was in there too. I thought that I thought that was you they were referring to. Yep, that Very was me. Cool. Yeah. Um I'm I've spent a lot of time on Hangout in the past year, and it's really kind of changed my life. <laughs> like I yeah, used to just spend all my time reading, and I, you know, I can't get out a lot. Yeah. Um, so this is really cool. It's like I have, you know, a lot of family and friends now. Like everybody on Hangout is like my extended family. Um, you know, I was I was telling my fiance like. I feel really close to the people I get to spend, you know, like I pop in and out of hangouts all day long and, um, you know, like I feel like they're my really close friends because they are. Yeah. But like before Google Plus opened up, I just, I, I would read like seven books like all day long. I'd read book one, then I'd read book two, then I'd read book three and it would just be like I'd live in books all day long because I just, there'd be nothing else to do. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah, I'm uh, really yeah. grateful to Google. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, no, I, I I've been amazed. I was amazed immediately the first night I ever uh, did one of these. I saw that same sort of potential and uh, trying to convey it to other people as well. But it's yeah, some time for it to catch on. But it's, I. It's cool. It's cool that it's kind of a small club at the moment. So you can still really, uh, if you are on it a lot, you you really do get a sense of everybody. That's, There's uh, all these tiny communities. Like I could, you know, I I could invite you to ten different hangout groups per day that I join, you know, and and they hang out almost every single day. Some of them don't even know about the other ones, and some of them do. Like sometimes they meet up and join, and it's weird like how different communities merge <laughs> and others of them have yet to meet and it's like they're living these parallel simultaneous groups you know what I mean like my my friend whose son is in the hospital like can actually join the hangout from the hospital yeah um, like from her tablet um, she might even be able to you know what I mean like she if she was available right now I don't even know what's going on right now um, for all I know, her son could be in surgery right now as we speak. Yeah. 
Um, but if she was free, she could join from the hospital. And like if I was in the hospital, I could join right now from hospital. When I was hospitalized in April, I joined, you know, from my hospital room. Can you join via an iPad? Um, I just brought my laptop to the hospital and then joined. Oh. Okay. And when I get infusions, which I do every two weeks, I just join while I'm in the hospital. Cool. And I've actually attended a concert that way. Um, yeah. Because Daria Musk has concerts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. And I've talked to Mike Tyson while I was in the hospital. No way. Yeah. It was really weird and cool and, like, surreal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, who would ever have thought, like, that I could talk to Mike Tyson through Google Hangout while I was in the hospital. That's incredible. Yeah. Was that uh, through one of those news casters who's been doing a lot of hangouts? Yep. Yeah. It was, yeah, in the, the Fox LA yeah. uh, newscast. That's so awesome. Yeah. And it, the, the on-air thing, I wish I was able to, only you are able to invite your circles with the on-air broadcast, but if it was like a normal hangout, I could invite people in and I could basically show you what I mean. Yeah. Do you know, um, do you know Renzo from Venezuela? I do know Renzo. <laughs> yep. He seems to be a man about town. Yep. And he's always in those those LA hangouts, <laughs> the, the newscasters hangouts as well. Yeah, he's a real nice guy. Yeah, that's pretty funny. This is my first time doing a a full hangout on air. Ah. Um, I mean, I've had it for, for a while and I played with it, but I've always ended up inviting the public. Oh, yeah, that's the difficult thing, and, and public hangouts are really intimidating and yeah, they get pretty, pretty creepy. Weird. They get pretty weird. The last yeah. one I did was, was uh, pretty annoying. I mean, I can handle it. I think it's pretty amusing, and I, I enjoy the commotion and distraction. While I'm painting, it kind of keeps me focused in a weird way, but... Um, but yeah, that was a little weird. That one was a little, a little too much. Yeah, yeah. There tend to be people who uh, treat it like chat roulette, you know. Yeah, I finally got my first penis. Of the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it's like it's almost you could almost do a math equation, like figure out the probability of your chances of getting full frontal nudity, like. As time goes on, the probability of approaching, you know, <laughs> I'd love to get a statistician in here and be like, work this out. Maybe Google has already done it. Well, no, that's a common, that's a common thing. Uh, it was really funny. I was working in a gaming company over the last year, and they, they built a lot of virtual items for people to buy, it was similar to Farmville. Type of, type of type of a site and you could buy items with virtual currency and this and that but um, they had a term for it it was like TTP like anytime you release something the, the time to penis factor like how quickly <laughs> <laughs> <For you? laughs> like you put a uh, it could be a playroom like a kid's Playroom type of thing, and you let people put stickers on the wall. Like you, they, people can buy stickers and put them on a wall, and literally within you know ten minutes, one of the first users has put a penis on their on their wall and stickers. You know. Wow. Any any control you give to users, that's about the first thing you, that pops up. So that that was uh. a, a legitimate term, like time time to penis. <laughs> wow. Pretty funny. Yeah, 
it's it's funny and at the same time sad. <laughs> well, it's an open it's an open community, so you kind of take you got to take that into account. Yeah, and I know they're probably I I think that's what one of the main things they're working on solving at this point. Actually, um, do you want me to? Uh, there's another open hangout that I could go into and explain that you're doing this painting on air and see if I can get them to come over here. Yeah, I, if they want to, they're, uh, they're more than welcome. I, I'm not. Sh yeah. I, I'd have to give you all their names. I'd have to basically go over there and explain what's going on, and then come back in here and give all their names to you so you can shoot the invites out. But I think they'd all come over. Yeah, that's cool. I can do that. Okay. I mean, it's all up to you. It depends on if you would like a, a full hangout for your first one. Oh, definitely. No, I've, I've done hangouts with 90 people. I, I, I'd love to have more people in here. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I will hop over there, and then I'll be right back. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'll see you soon.
Hola. Hey, Ryan. Okay, so some folks are going to hop over here shortly. Yeah? Yep. Can you invite them? Um, I think we're just going to give them the link. But right. I will also give you their names if you want to invite them. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not sure how mm -hmm. this is working, so if I should, if I need to invite them, yeah. Uh, Tom Rolfson is one. Oh, I know Tom. And Brooke Brown is another. Oh, here's John. Brooke? What's going on? How's it going? Hey, John. So what are we painting? Or what are you painting? Uh, a heart. That's simple. Like an actual heart or like one of the heart symbols? No, like a real beating heart. There you go. That's, that's <clears throat> awesome. <laughs> it started out, well, it's, it's for a happy occasion. A friend of mine, his son, his six-year-old son, just had a heart transplant last night. So it's in honor of him uh, getting a new life, basically. That's really cool. Actually, um, you know, I've got another friend who, whose brother is, uh, was a, a donor. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, I can see if he's around, too, if you want. It's really emotional for him. Um, I don't want to upset anybody. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to think about whether. Uh, he, I, I think he'd be really honored. Okay or no? Did it not turn out okay? Uh, well, well, you know, like his brother, his brother died. I think it was in an accident, like a car accident. Yeah. But because he was an um, an organ donor, like he, you know, they donated donate. his organs uh. and and saved several lives as a result. So it was really a cool story. But it's also very emotional for him. So. Yeah. Hey, Tom. Hey, Ryan. How's it going? Good. Good to see you again. Likewise. Well. I was watching your uh, your stream. I was watching the uh, the painting before, and uh, oh, really? Monica. Let's jump and uh, give him some support. Yeah, I was I was uh, listening to a little bit about Bray and, and uh, uh, I don't know. Was it talking? You're talking about selling it or going to commission for a doctor? About your your painting was it a heart or something like that you were painting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, f a friend of mine, he, his son just had a heart transplant last night. Six year old. Oh wow. Okay. So uh, I t t told him I'd help him out and uh, try to start some online art auction. And so I'm trying to figure out the, the logistics of that and how to actually get that done. Uh, put up some online art auction. But in the meantime, I'm actually doing the piece that I want to auction off. <laughs> so it's Travis Hill if you want to shoot him an invite. Um, and we'll basically leave it up to him to decide if he wants to join. I think he'd, he'd really feel honored. I don't know. I can't speak for him. Well, I'm not getting any, into anything too deep here, I hope. Right, right. It's just a, you know, it's just a pain. Yeah. Travis Hill. I'm getting three of them. Is he uh, wearing a hat? Oh, like yep. five. Any, uh, any, yeah, any of these you post up that, uh, do you do the offshore link me on that? Because I'm looking for some art for my room, actually. Tim Jones, how you doing? Very good. Hey, Tim. Got a full house all of a sudden. They've been alone all night. <laughs> <laughs> As, as I told Monica, I'm, I'm sitting just uh, nice and quiet, enjoying a uh, hot summer evening outside here on my porch. So I didn't want to like jump in and be the star on your stream, but uh, was definitely watching and enjoying the work. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just uh, chilling out. Uh, sorry to, have to keep repeating myself. A friend of mine, his six-year-old son, just had a heart transplant last night. Oh, wow. I told him I would try to put on an online heart auction. So the other guys, the other artists who are also doing these studio hangouts with me are all contributing work, and I'm trying to figure out how to produce this online auction. Uh, but tonight I'm actually 
you know, doing a piece in honor of Tim, who uh, kind of having his first birthday all over again today. Mm. Uh, cool. How's he making out? Everything's good so far. They did it. They he went into surgery at like seven o'clock last night. Uh, they probably got out around three in the morning. I don't know how doctors can do something like that at that time of night, but where where did they do it? Which hospital? In Chicago. Okay. Children's Hospital in Chicago. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. That's that would be a that would be a hard thing to watch your kid have to go through. Yeah, he was uh, he was born with a, a defect, and so he's already had six surgeries or, or so in his life, and uh, this was the big one. I uh, I dodged a proverbial bullet. I had. Uh, pneumonia which led to congestive heart failure a few years ago and had to have a defibrillator implanted and they did a full eval for a heart transplant for me. And, really? Uh, uh, yeah, I've been uh, really fortunate. My, my heart has made almost a full recovery. So I got to keep the original. Yeah, that's always that's always preferable. Yeah. You know, once you make it past 25 years, those things become a classic. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds really scary. Well, to go from being perfectly healthy and having pneumonia and sick just five days um, and, and having just a heart failure to, that, that led to the point that I couldn't even sit up without oxygen, that was, that was pretty scary. Yeah. 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 My experiences with pulmonary embolism were just terrifying. You can imagine heart failure would be so much... This is a scary hangout. Let's we should lighten it up a little. Well, I, I guess I, I want to know more about Ryan's painting and and uh, you know how we can help. I guess how how we can help promote that. If you decide how or where when you're going to sell it, um, let us uh, let us help you. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I uh, have started this website and a group of artists who are t I'm trying to get them to do similar hangouts where they're just working. Like I'm fascinated by watching people work. When I see paintings, I like to figure out how people did things. And so I uh, thought it, it would be cool to try to promote the G Plus platform and get other artists doing crazy things on, on these hangouts. So uh, I've got a group of a few other guys who've been doing them as well. And uh, this uh, charity thing popped up and seems like a great cause to kind of rally around and get some other people interested in. So. Cool. Absolutely. Got a great community out here that have supported stuff, you know, and raising money for cancer and, and other things. So definitely if we can help with that, we want to be there. Yeah, Tom, I just watched your interview yesterday with, uh, uh, I can't oh, remember his name. You thought, you Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's sharp. Yeah, I watched that. It was great. Thank you. Were there some uh, tips that you found useful that uh, will help with your own uh, hangouts in production? Yeah, I wrote down a few of the references you guys made. I was interested in that comment you uh, brought up about having a live a live page that can pick pick up a tweet. So. Yeah, we're uh, we're working on that, doing a little testing. In fact, one website we're working on that um, might be of interest, and we can even help your artists too, is, is uh, hangcast.com, and that's the site that we're using to develop that with the uh, grabbing the embed code and, and testing. Um, ran into one roadblock today, but uh, it still looks like we're going to be able to pull it off in the next probably week to two weeks. Hangcast. Awesome. Hangcast.com. It's a brand new site. We just started brought it, brought it up today, um, and and that one is kind of designed to be a uh, a venue for people. Like on on Friday, I'm streaming a a concert with Preston Reed, who's a um, oh, right. the, the the invest the inventor of the percussion guitar playing technique, and uh, 
um, incredible style. If anybody hasn't heard it, go to Preston Reed, PrestonReed.com um, for people watching on the stream. I'll actually put it up in the lower third so people can read it on screen. Yeah, I, I do need to do the lower thirds. Uh, somebody mentioned that on chat. I, I yeah, Ryan, uh, would you like me to put mine up with your info in it? Yeah, if that's easy. That'd be awesome. What do you want me to put up? Just Studio Hangouts, your page? or? Yeah, that'd be great. Like okay. StudioHangouts.com or, or plus Studio Hangouts. Okay. Um, so PrestonReed.com, there's the URL for that. That goes to his website and then the concert on Friday, 3 o'clock Central Daylight Time, uh, will be on Hankcast.com. Uh, what time is that, uh, Tom? 3 p.m. Central. 3 p.m. Central. Okay, right. I, I might be able to make that. Sounds really cool. Should be. It's, it's going to be great. We did a, a sound check the other day, and uh, his guitar uh, playing is, is very well suited for Google Acoustics or the, the codec capabilities. Yeah, TC Dean told me about that, and it yeah. uh, yeah, sounds amazing. Helping out. Okay. So everybody watching, follow Studio Hangout. Awesome. For more of this amazing art and Hangout. I don't know why I've got some black square covering my big main video portal. Yeah. I can see everybody's small photos down below, but the big one up above just has a big black box covering it. It's black? Hmm, let me try and play it in the screen. Who are you blue boxing? Uh, it's anybody I go to. It's try manually clicking on one of us and then clicking back off and see if that helps. Yeah, I'm doing that now. It's nothing. Hmm. Monica, it's Studio Hangouts, plural. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Oops. So if anybody meets any other uh, interesting artists around Google+, Plus, point them my way as well. I'd like to get them. Uh, Will do. Everybody on the same, under the same umbrella, and we can help promote each other. I watched one of Cliff. I watched uh, Cliff Roth's hangout interview this afternoon with. Uh, the lead singer of Guar, that was pretty awesome. He did a speed painting of the lead singer of this heavy metal band. Well, he, he kind of interviewed him at the same time, and I thought that was pretty awesome. Brilliant. Ryan, uh, we'd love to know what the website where the auction will be for the work of art. That is to be determined still. I'm tr still trying to work out the auction part of it. <laughs> I, think okay. I think it'll be uh, a sub-site of Studio Hangouts. I think it'll be uh, art, uh, studiohangouts.com slash art for, for Tim's heart .com. Okay. Or, I'm sorry, dot com slash art for Tim's heart. But I, I'm not positive about that. You don't have to put that up. I'll, uh, well, I'll you can always put it on your, your page. Yeah, I'll, I'll promote it once I figure out what the hell I'm doing for that. I found a cool auction widget or function with, uh, with WordPress or WordPress. Uh, it's called WP Auctions, but I have to install WordPress on my website to be able to install this auction system. And uh, it's not working as smoothly as I thought it would. I was playing with it last night. And it, uh, I like tinkering with Google stuff because I can eventually tinker enough to, to get it to work. But these other companies, they don't do so well. So I can't just get it to work. Yeah, I can imagine that setting up a an auction would be pretty complicated. 
Yeah, you don't see many of them <laughs> outside of eBay. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen one. But eBay doesn't even have... I'm amazed they don't have some kind of auction widget you could plug into your own website. Yeah, that would be handy. Somebody needs to make that. Not, it's not is a there auction. A Kickstarter sort of thing? Uh, is there a what? I mean, I, there's no sort of Kickstarter kind of thing set up for auctions, is there? I have not been able to find one yet, no. It's, it seems to be some big black hole that I stumbled on that doesn't exist yet. That I can't that I can't believe since eBay's been a multi-billion-dollar company for ten years, and nobody else has tried to get in on that. Mike, I don't think it's a an auction, but d didn't they do a site for Lee Daniels where a bunch of people donated art? For Lee Daniels? Yeah. Um, it seems I'm like some, sure. somebody was talking about it at a hangout. May have been Rodney. <clears throat> I don't think it's an auction, though. I think that it's just where they, you can purchase. If anybody else has any interesting ideas for that sort of thing, I'm all ears. I'm just making it up as I go along right now. <laughs> I, uh, I tend to just promise to do something and then uh, figure out how to do it after the fact. <laughs> I'll try and research for you, see what I can figure out. I think we can do it. I think I can figure it out. I think I can get something done. If I have to take phone calls over my own 1-800 line, I'll do that. Talk like an auctioneer. All right, guys, I'm going to hit the sack. Uh, good luck. Keep me informed. Uh, okay. Night, Sean. Thanks a lot. Yeah, follow, uh, follow me as well, Ryan Flynn. We'll see you later. Gotcha. Thank you all for showing up here tonight. Yeah. Oh no problem. I it was pretty a pretty cool coincidence that um, you know that that just happened for your friend and like I said, my friend's son is basically still fighting. Yeah. How old is uh How old is he? Uh, Lex is four. Unimaginable. Yeah, it's pretty tough on, on their family. Hello, Laurel. Hello. We have, we have uh, let's see, since I'm following Ryan, I noticed you were following, so we have that in common. Well. <laughs> I, oh, no, okay. I just noticed that, that, like, Ryan was the only person in your circles that kind of thing that's well, showing. I don't know if that's accurate, but so well, is this your first hangout? Uh, Ryan is my son. Oh, okay. Well, is that, <laughs> your, first, oh, is that wow. your first hangout? <laughs> well, I... I watched him once before. Oh, okay. It, it took a while to remember how to get on here. Mm -hmm. I, I saw him earlier this evening when I was the only one watching, and I came back, and, and here's all these people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you do this like a pro. <laughs> yeah, you do. You don't have any audio issues, and it's great. No, it's, yeah. <laughs> Pretty amazing. i just staring in awe. Mm hmm <laughs> Well, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Where do you live? Me? Mm -hmm. In Bettendorf, Iowa. 
And oh, okay. Ryan grew up in Iowa. He's probably afraid I'm going to start telling stories about him as a child. Oh, yes. Let's go with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm the one that put his paintings up on the refrigerator. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I I knew he was an artist. He, he's going to raise his hand. He's heard this before. <laughs> when he asked the teacher if he could bring home all these little punched out um, construction paper holes, he wanted to bring them home, and he drew little faces on them all and turned them over and drew hair on the back of them. <laughs> And look at him today. I was just noticing those arms. I, I couldn't paint because I'm not quite that muscular. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't help anything. Use your, use your fine motor skills if you lift too much. Those heavy brushes. So on that note, Ryan, tell us a little bit about your style. Do you do everything in oils? Do you work in water? What What do you do? No, this is all uh, this is all acrylic, just because I've, I've got this huge stockpile of acrylic that I've accumulated over the years, and I'm trying to go through it so that I can justify buying some oils. So that's part of why I use such a gloppy. Uh, Painterly style. I tr I'm trying to use up all my paint. <laughs> Buy some new ones. But yeah, I've always loved just really brush strokey, rough, rough images. Things where you can really kind of see all the brush brush strokes. Something that's not too smooth and clean. A little raw. You can see the work that went into it. Very cool. It's whole, working. It's working. It's a, it's a nice time. I'm a graphic designer. I spend my whole day on the computer. So when I get the paint in my hands, I, I it's the one place where nobody can tell me that I can make that button cornflower blue, you know? <laughs> Hmm. So, Tim, don't say it. Don't tell him you missed the spot over there. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the kind of painting that I do, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> and you could tell if I did it if you could see the numbers, but at this stage. <laughs> Hey, Ron, it was really good meeting you. I'm going to have to bow out. No worries, man. Have a good and, night. And you too, Laurel. Mm, bye. Nice meeting you. Good right. night, Robert. Good to see you. Good night, guys. Monica. Good night, yeah. guys. See you, Robert. Robert. See you. Okay, Laura, I'm going to put you on the spot. Tell us another story about Ryan. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let's, let's see if his hands start shaking when you start telling stories. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to tell an embarrassing one. But well, his, his first love was drawing superhero comic book guys, like Marvel comic things and Spider-Man and They'll have boxes of them. Someday they'll be worth something when he's famous from all these studio hangouts. Absolutely. Yeah. How many of you guys who still do that and are much, much better than I ever was now? Some people do that on Hangout. Yeah. yeah, I've been in a, in a couple of those talented people. I'm going to be right back. I'll let you guys converse with yourselves. 
Okay, he's gone. Let's talk about the painting that he can't hear us. <laughs> no, I, I do like his work. I, I like the, the brilliance of colors that he puts in there, the contrast. Yeah. And we've got paintings of his around in the house. I mean, they're gifts and things. He's done a lot of different styles through the years, but it's always that bold colors that come out. Um, I used to be a graphic designer oh. long ago, and I did it before computers. <laughs> so that's a very different thing. That actually involved drawing back then. Wow. Mm -hmm. And peak. So yeah. did you did you did your style or did your skill evolve into computers when uh, when the first graphic program for camp came about? Yeah, well, I I stopped officially working like 22 years ago, and um, I was just starting to do a few things on the computer, but really I didn't. But I fool around on the computer now, and it's amazing everything you can do um, graphic design wise. I mean, the way I used to do it, you know, ordering type from a typesetter and waiting a few days, and if it wasn't right, you ordered it again and waited another day. <laughs> now it's just a click of a button. And I feel like it's so obsolete what I used to do. I might as well have been a, a blacksmith or something. <laughs> yeah, our computers uh, really change things. This is Noodle. <laughs> noodle. <laughs> oh, noodle. That's a big package of noodles. What does he weigh? <laughs> or she? He or she? A 40 pound bag of noodles. <laughs> His tongue, uh, the tongue, never, tongue never goes in. <laughs> a pug, right? Yeah. He's pretty ridiculous. Uh, I'm just dog sitting. We're just dog sitting for this week. So he's not mine. But he's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce you. Yeah. Well, earlier I was. It's so annoying. Here's another dog. Oh, now who is that, Laura? <laughs> That's Raleigh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> joining don't look too excited, Raleigh. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to introduce him to Noodle earlier, but they didn't seem to care much. <laughs> he doesn't understand. So Tim, you know, when I entered that other hangout, you said it was a hangout where we weren't going to do anything productive. I'm kind of liking this because we get to watch somebody else be yeah. productive and do something. Yeah, without having to be productive ourselves. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do is watch other people be productive. <laughs> Too many things piling up lately. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Never. Tom, Tom I was wondering Never. if you could eat. I eat, I sleep. Three hours a night. <laughs> that's, that's actually one of the beauties of Hangouts, is they've actually allowed me to achieve a little bit of balance between both work and pleasure. In the same space. Yeah. Laurel, since you used to be a designer, you might appreciate this link here. Yeah. If you haven't already seen it. You see the chat thing on the side, Mom? Click the chat button on the top left. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's. YouTube thing. Can I do that now? Yeah. yeah, you can do it while you're in here. 
Although you may need to mute your microphone. Yeah. I What is that, East Hunter? It's a video on YouTube about a world without Photoshop. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, in the world of mobile, hey guys. mobile websites and mobile apps lately. Here we got. I think the name of this, uh, as I'm re as I'm looking at it now, it seems pretty festive. I think the title just occurred to me as Party Hardy. H e a r t y. So what what's making that noise? Do you guys hear it? I don't know. Yeah. Is it, it, nice. Uh -huh. The YouTube video? Oh, the YouTube video. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I did the same thing. Muted myself for watching. Uh -huh. Well, that's good because I worried I was going crazy. Hello. Hey. I was just watching that, but I don't really know how to mute. I mean, I turned it. I turned it way down. Could you hear it? Uh, oh, it's okay. Uh, yeah. If you don't have earbuds, that's fine. Well, I I watched some of it. I'd like to watch more of that later. That's with them cutting and pasting, and that's the way I used to do it. <laughs> I was first working at a package design company in about, oh, 1971. I mean, there was actually a guy drawing pictures of Hungry Jack mashed potatoes with <laughs> chalk. And they'd spray it and glue it to these boxes to present to the client. Wow. Do you watch Mad Men, Laurel? Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's my favorite yeah. show. It's a lot like what it was. Well, it wasn't in on Madison Avenue. It was in Kalamazoo, Michigan, <laughs> mm -hmm. or, or Iowa. But, yeah, a lot of what they do, just the, the tools and things they have at their drawing boards and the, the way they do the storyboards for television commercials, It's that's the way I used to do it. Guys, I'm going to have to take off. So.
Well, no worries. Mm, okay. Nice. nice right. meeting good you. Good to meet you, Ryan. Good to meet you, Laurel. See you, Mike. Have a good one, Mike. Uh, have a good night. Good night. Where do the rest of you live? I am oh. north of Atlanta in Georgia. Mm -hmm. And I'm just outside Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh -huh. And I'm in Boulder, Colorado. Wow. My daughter's in Denver for the summer. Oh, really? What's she doing there? She just graduated from college and she has an internship in catering sales at the Colorado Convention Center. Oh, okay. That's cool. She, she's loving it there. Hopes to stay there, but you just don't know. She'll be there at least till the middle of October. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice place to spend the summer. Yeah. Well, the painting is looking great, Brian. Thank you. Yeah, it's moving along fast. I don't know how you do it all in one night like that. Yeah, I, I, uh, well, the, the hardest part is getting started, and so I just have to finish it all in one sitting because I know it would take forever to get back to it. Mm hmm. This is about done, I think. I don't know what else. I mean, I'm just over, gonna, gonna overwork it too much if I keep going. How do okay, you Mary. normally just? How do you normally decide when you're done? Uh, when it's bedtime. <laughs> when it's bedtime. <laughs> about midnight. I've been trying to do these every Wednesday. Uh, that was part of the incub incubus for this. Uh, Ideas. Uh, I figured the only way I, I get anything done is if, if I'm accountable to other people. And so if I started telling other people that I'd be here every Wednesday night doing this, so that I would have to show up and do it, uh, and I could back out of it and do other sort of things. That's interesting. That's part of why I read literature online on on Hangout, is because then you know <laughs> I have to do it. Yeah, just keeps you keeps me accountable. That's the only way I really get, get anything done. I'm I'm trying to be I'm trying to be inspired by you to do to get down and paint. I've got I've got things I've started and then they sit there undone and not that I'm gonna do a studio hangout, but I'm hoping you're inspiring me. Cool. So it's ironic that the only thing to keep me off of the computer is Turning it on myself. <laughs> Make the computer, computer watch me. Oh, bye, Tom. Good to see bye. you again. And I'll look for you on Friday. Take care, Tom. We'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I think I'm gonna wrap it up too. Yeah, I should. I should probably call it a night in a few. I won't wrap it up quite yet, but I'll. I won't be too much longer. Well, it's looking great. Good luck yeah. with the auction, and good luck to to the. Is it? Tim. Tom. Tim. 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 Yeah, <laughs> friend, friends of Tim on Facebook is the the page they've got. It's up at the top of this chat. I. Uh, Mm -hmm. here. We've got a link to his Facebook page where they've been blogging about it. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, just let me know, Ryan, when you find your auction site uh, or however you want to sell it. Um, actually, I'm going to put my email address in the chat because people watching cannot see it. Right. Um, 
but don't don't share it publicly, please. No, no worries. Um, and and just send me an email because sometimes if you send me a like a private post, it gets lost. Yeah, yeah. And I will share it, and we can you know promote it and you know hopefully raise some some money for it. That's awesome. That's where I'm at right now. Well, that's great. Yeah, very nice. Beautiful. That's crazy. I just I did a screenshot too, and just Monica, you might share that screenshot. Oh yeah, that'd be great if you could email that to me. That's very yeah. I think I I uh, uh, pinged you in it. I, I tagged everybody, so. Awesome. Thank yeah, you. it's coming out ten. Okay. Well, I'm glad, glad I figured this out. Every time I do it, I'll figure a little more out. I just now see where the mute button is I was looking for. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, you're doing really well, Laurel. Yeah. Um, when you joined, I had no idea this was your first hangout. Well, I, I you did it a few weeks ago. I just kind of stumbled on it and, you know, wasn't sure how I got there, but. Every time I'll do it a little bit more on purpose. Well, be careful. It it turns into like uh, the corner neighborhood bar or whatever you get to wear. <laughs> you have to go find out who's who's in the hangout today. You know. Yeah, I've been telling telling so many other people how amazing these are, and it's they they have some preconceived notions about them being pretty scary. Yeah, and and that they're very formal and formatted. Yeah. Everybody I say something to, they go, "Well, I don't have time today. Maybe next week." Yeah. <laughs> you know, they yeah. don't understand. It can be like a phone call. I mean, we have. It's you know, just life. Yeah, it's like picking up the phone and being like, "So, blah 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 blah." You know, like we're gonna work this out as we talk. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of intimidating when you first come on. You don't know who's there, but it's just like any group of people you're talking to, it gets more comfortable mm -hmm. as you go along. Yep. It's pretty bizarre. And if you stumble over your words or you make an error, you just go whoops and then, you know, it's not the end of the world. I do it all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've stuttered. I've said the wrong thing. I've, you know, made big mistakes and made a fool out of myself and now uh, I'm still alive. <laughs> Love to tell the tale. <laughs> and people who don't do that that are too perfect, nobody likes them. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, very okay. good, folks. I'm going to step out, and it's uh, about 11.30, getting close to 11. Oh, here yeah. George. Yeah. So. Nearly 9.30 here, too. I'm going to get some tea anyway. Log off. Right. And, Thank you yeah. so much, Monica. Thank you so much. For oh, no problem, yeah. Ryan. Yes. I shared this hangout so people could watch it long after it's done, and see your work and stuff. So very cool. Very cool. Well, I uh, I'll very be nice back here next next Wednesday, I believe. Uh, I'm trying to do these every Wednesday night, and then a friend of mine, Ted Domek, he usually does his on Friday nights. But I'll send out I'll send out messages on Studio Hangouts uh, on Google Plus about when when the other guys are going to do theirs. So okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm going to tag Paul Roussan and. Elaine Sharp and some other artists that I know on here and and yeah. say like you know that you're a great artist that I highly recommend. Cool. Thank you so much. You know. Well, yeah. good job. I'll see good you guys later. Bye bye. Okay. Good night. Good night.